welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be very, very fun. It's one that has been requested by a lot of you in the past and I tend to put off because in case you haven't noticed by now, it is a makeup video and um, yeah, it's not something that I would even consider myself to be anywhere near an expert at. So I just tend to steer away from those kinds of videos because I just do what works for me when I put on makeup. And if you're like me and you just sort of wing it every time you put on makeup, then this is probably a video for you. And even if you are someone who's a bit more experienced, then by all means, I welcome your comments. Just try and keep them nice because, you know, we all have feelings. But anyway, today seemed like the perfect day to be doing this video because I recently was gifted a whole bunch of new goodies from my friend who just launched her new makeup brand and so she gifted me a whole bunch of products there was no obligation to do a video on it she just wanted me to try them out and let her know my thoughts and there was certainly no money involved or anything like that this is just a video that i thought would be fun for you guys so obviously this is the look i created with the makeup products clearly it's like a very natural everyday kind of makeup and the great thing about this product range in particular is that it is a mineral makeup range so generally when you hear mineral makeup you think you know it is very light and it doesn't have too much pigment to it this is the opposite of that but the look that I created was very natural and since I got this I've been wearing it every day because it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything it doesn't sweat off so it's been a really nice light coverage makeup however if you're someone who does like to go for more of a full coverage look then I'll show you guys how you can achieve it throughout the video Okay, so to kick off this makeup haul slash tutorial slash routine video, I'm going to be starting off with the CC cream. So this is a tinted CC cream, so it is just going to give you a little bit of color, even out your skin tones, and it also has an SPF of 20, so it's going to be looking after your skin as well. It has a very nice moisturizer consistency, and I've been using it just on my face in the mornings if I don't want to put a foundation, or I've been using it as like a primer. I was lucky enough to try a sample pot of the primer that Satori is releasing, um, however, they haven't actually released it yet. So I'm not going to show that in the video today, but this stuff is amazing and I'm just a really big fan of it so far. Next is the Mineral Photo Touch Concealing Pen. Um, this stuff is designed to like fill your little lines and stuff. Lord knows I have enough of them on my face. I've had a few of you guys commenting on them. Um, so it helps to fill those and it also reflects off the skin. So it brightens the face a little bit. And it is one of the ones where you just like take off the lid, twist it at the bottom, gives that really satisfying click sound and then just apply to your face. Um, please excuse the application of this. I have this horribly shonky little sponge that I'm using at the moment because I need to go and get myself a new beauty blender. So yeah, that's what I'm using. It doesn't apply as well as a beauty blender. So this is not applying quite as well as what I would usually like it to, but it does apply well nonetheless, and it does last for a really long time as well. So if you are after a nice lightweight concealing pen, this is a really good one. The next one is the foundation, and it is like a compact mineral baked foundation. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see from here. I know I have a close up shot in a minute. So this stuff is a baked foundation. For those of you guys who don't know about baked foundations, they're poured into the pot in a liquid form and then they are baked so they're solid. I know the preconceived idea of the mineral baked foundations is that they don't go on as intense as what like a liquid foundation would. Uh, but this one has been really good, especially if you are making sure to use your primer beforehand or a CC cream like I did. And I just apply that all over the skin. I've done it on top of my concealer because you don't want to be putting concealer on top of your powder foundation. But this stuff goes on really nicely. It gives off a really nice color for me, although they do come in four different color shades. If you do want a slightly darker or slightly more intense coverage, you can always wet your brush a little bit and just go around and fix up the spots that you need to cover and it works really well like that. So once again, I've been really happy with that. And I think it's just so beautiful the way it sets in the pod in like a nice sort of cloudy pattern. Speaking of loving that beautiful cloudy pattern, also in the same compact size there's this gorgeous mineral baked bronzer and I'll show you guys now it's just stunning it's got like the whites creams a really dark bronze and pinks in it I think this one does actually come in a couple of different colors but this one was probably the most suited for me and I've been using this one for all of my contouring because it gives off a really nice natural look but it also has that little touch of highlighter in it just to give it that little bit of extra pop and speaking to the owner of the brand she was actually saying that if you are on the road and you don't have time to take all of your makeup with you, you can just select certain parts that you're using with your brush. Like you could take 
the lighter white colors to use as your highlighter, the darker to use as your contour, and then, you know, go in with the little pinks and use that as a bit of a blush. So, so it's quite a versatile little baked bronzer as well. And like I was saying with the foundation, it's poured in in a liquid form and then set. So that's why you get this gorgeous cloudy pattern. And once again, if you do want to achieve a darker look, like if you were to use it on your eyes or anything like that, then it's just a matter of wetting your brush a little bit and dabbing it into the powder and putting it on your face. Before we move on to the eyeshadows, I have this little antioxidant eye base. So it's just basically an eye primer. It's like this cute little peachy pink color and it's a very even moussey consistency. Please excuse my nails at the moment. I've just lost one this morning and Heidi decided to paint two of my nails for Mother's Day. So they're not looking too crash hot at the moment. I need to get them fixed. But back to the eye primer. This stuff is really good and it does make my eyeshadow apply that much better and last that much longer. It is quite... I don't know, I feel like it's quite luminous in itself. So it does create, it's just a really nice color. So if you want to, you can get away with just wearing that on your eyes and not having to put anything else on. This is a mineral pressed eyeshadow and it's quite obviously a much smaller pan size like most eyeshadows really. Um, this is just one of the colors that I have and I picked this one out because it was a very neutral tone. I could use it on the base of my eye or sort of build it up to create a darker look. Obviously this is just in like a little single pan. However, you can mix and match them which is an amazing thing that a lot of makeup brands are doing at the moment. I don't like to buy eyeshadows from companies who don't do that because everybody is so different. You wanna be able to create a look that's very unique to you. So I really appreciate the ability to go ahead and be able to select a couple of the colors that you like and are unique to you and to pop them in a quad and just paper those rather than buying a whole makeup palette and only using a few of the colors. Another note that I want to make uh, about this one and about all of the colors is despite the fact that this is a mineral makeup brand, all of the colors are incredibly pigmented and go on really nicely. Next, I have two of the Mineral Baked Beauties. So these are eyeshadows. However, this one here, the frosting I've been using as a highlighter, I'll show you that one in a minute. Um, but to start off with, I've picked out this color, which is actually called Red Velvet, and it's the most fitting name because it is such a deep, beautiful red color. You guys know me. I really do love using those deep reds on my eyes and lips. So this color was something that I was drawn to straight away. And once again, it is from the Mineral Baked range. And what I like to do with this one is use it as a transitional color. So I'll use a fluffy brush to put it in the crease of my lid. And then I like to go through with like a fine pencil brush and use it to darken the outer corners of my lids. Next, this one, as I mentioned, is called Frosting and it is stunning. You guys, I can't even get over how pigmented this is for any kind of eyeshadow, let alone a mineral baked shadow. And it is gorgeous. So I've been using it to highlight like my cheekbone. I've been putting it on my eyes and inner corners of my eyes. I've been putting it on my forehead, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin. I've been putting this stuff everywhere because it is just gorgeous. And I guess that's probably why it's called frosting because you just want to frost your entire face in it. It's definitely my favorite product from the entire range. So as you've already heard, me mention a couple of times throughout the video this is a mineral makeup range so all of the ingredients are natural but one of the main draw cards with a lot of the products in this range are the botanical ingredients so you've got jojoba seed oil lavender thyme green tea and rosemary and they're all really good high quality ingredients that are the reason why these products last a really long time and are so pigmented and so long lasting and so easy to apply as well. And that's all outlined on all of the packaging. So you know everything that's going into these products and you know that you can trust everything that's gone into the products. Moving on, we have this gel eyeliner pencil. It is in the shade Adorn, I think that's the shade. And it's a really, really nice creamy consistency as well. You can create the thin lines, the thick lines, whatever you wanna do, it's a pencil, you can sharpen it. And I feel like once again, it's got like a little sort of shimmer to it. So it comes off really nicely and really evenly. Next, we just have a very simple brow gel. Um, it's a very thin, clear consistency. Um, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on my brows. So I've quite liked that about it. I'm not the kind of person that really loves that caked on feeling like I'm wearing a mask all the time. So I like that it's very light, but it also does a really good job at sculpting the brows and keeping them in place. Moving forward to my brow color, there is this brow mud and it comes in like this. I love the packaging, by the way. I don't think I've mentioned that so far. This comes in like a little glass container. It's a very thick 
chocolatey. It's a very, very rich formula. And as such, it glides on very nicely as well. It looks very natural. I like to start by defining my arches because that's sort of my problem area personally. And then I go through and fill in with a really light hand because this is, once again, it's a very pigmented color. Um, and then to finish it off, I'll just go back with my brow gel brush, not necessarily have anything on it, just the brush because it is a really nice thick brush and just comb the brow balm through so it looks a little bit more natural. This one is the brunette color. And once again, I do believe they have a few different shades of this one to suit everybody. And last but not least, I'll move on to the lips. To kick it all off and give a little bit of definition, I've got this waterproof gel lip liner. Much like with the gel eyeliner, it comes in pencil form. It's a really creamy consistency. See, it goes on beautifully and the color is very diverse. So you can wear it with a lot of different shades or you could just use it to color in your lips and leave it as that. Personally, I do just like to put it all over my lips to give it a nice base and then go over with my lipstick. So that's what I usually do. And then over the top of that, I just have these classic matte lipsticks. The one I have used today is called Lullaby. And it's like a really classic pink color. It's gorgeous. I love the way it goes on. Like I said, they are a matte lipstick. And as with all of the products so far, they're quite pigmented. I also have another shade in this lipstick called Silk. And it is a much lighter, more of a pinky nude color. It looks very similar. If I hold it up to my face now, it looks like the color that I'm wearing on my lips, but I'm not. Um, and the reason why I haven't put this one on my lips today is because when I'm videoing, I have quite harsh lighting on me. So it wouldn't show up very well. It would almost look like blend in with my skin tone. But this is one that I more frequently wear just day to day when I'm going and doing school runs and stuff, just to even out my lip color. And there you have it, guys. That is a very basic everyday makeup routine that I've done using this gorgeous mineral makeup brand. There are a few more products in the range that I haven't shown you guys today. Obviously the ones that I've selected are ones that are going to suit my skin tone and my complexion, but they have a crazy amount of variety in all the different colors and shades that they have. They also have a mineral photo touch foundation in the range if you're looking for something that is not a powder foundation, a larger mineral illuminator, a bouquet blush, which I haven't been able to pick up yet, but I'm definitely putting it on my wish list because it is gorgeous. It's been baked into this gorgeous rose shape and it gives off such a beautiful color. That comes in a few different shades as well. So I'm very keen to get my hands on that one. A mineral baked eye fusion. Precision brow pencil, which has a little brush on the ends, which is a really good one if you're on the run and just want a little touch up rather than having to put, you know, your whole brow gel and brow mud into your bag with you. And a matte liquid lips, which I believe are coming soon. They might be in by the time this video goes up. I'll have to let you guys know. And of course, they're all Always adding to the range so keep your eyes out. I'm gonna have a link to the website down below. If you do want to go in and color match and test them out for yourself they are only being stocked in cosmetic collective clinics right now so if you live in those areas I'll have the addresses for those down below however they are intending to expand over the next few years and stock in a few other different locations as well so keep your eye out for those. Other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're a fan of mineral makeup or any kind of makeup, really, let me know your favorite makeup brands to try down below. And if you do want to get a discount on your Satori products, I'm going to have a discount code in the description box for those as well. So make sure you go and check it out. Go check them out on Facebook. Let them know I sent you. As per usual, give it a big thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and make sure to hit that little bell button as well because it seems like just a lot of you are not seeing my videos pop up in your subscription feeds, which is kind of a bit of a downer. So if you don't want to miss them, make sure to hit that little button as well. And other than that, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.